Wow, we never had so many emergencies. I'm exhausted. I hope tomorrow will be more calm. Well, see you tomorrow then. Good night. What was that sound? Is someone there? Who are you? You... you... Are you alright? I didn't see without the light, but now... Hey, hey, leave me alone, or I'll call the police. Help you? Please, just let go of my arm. Okay, okay, I'll help. I'll look at it. Just don't hurt me, okay? What, what happened to you? Sorry, but can you say that again? You're a werewolf. I, uh, are you sure you didn't hit your head? N no, I do. I, I know what a werewolf is. It's just... I didn't know it was real, okay? Um... Can you please let go of my arm? Please. You're hurting me. Thank you. Um, a werewolf, huh? Well, now that I see you, I guess I do believe it. Now, why exactly do you need my help? You were bitten. I am a member of your pack. <laughs> What's a pack? Oh, I see. Well, the wound is pretty nasty. It's very deep. Look, this is a real bacteria nest. Close it. Are you insane? Do you know what would happen if I close this wound? Forget it. It's not happening. How long did you have this wound? Yes, it's infected. Of course it's infected. A werewolf mouth isn't the most sterile thing. Quite the contrary. I mean, if it's anything like a dog's mouth. You waited too long. I can't close this like that. I need to clean the wound first. And you'll need antibiotics and a bandage. And the whole thing will hurt. I, uh... You know I'm not a human doctor, right? Maybe it would be better if you saw someone else for this. I'm just a vet. So... Your skin is more like the skin of a wolf than of a human. Well, it's true, animals and humans have very different skins. <sighs> okay, I'll help you. What are you doing? Drive to my place? We can't just drive out of here. Look, we need to go into the clinic. I don't have what I need at home. Yes, there are still people inside. It's a 24-7 clinic. But no one will see you. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. I have an idea. I go get everything at the clinic, okay? They won't suspect anything if it's me. Then I'll come back here. And we can go to my place. I'll take care of this. Okay? 
It's either that, or I won't be able to heal you. I'll go get everything, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Are you still there? I... I got everything. Okay. So, if you just let me look at that leg. Hey. Are you okay? You seem like you're burning up. They passed out. Shit. Um, don't worry, okay? I'll take care of you. Okay. <sighs> oh, you're waking up already. Easy, easy. Please, please calm down. You're gonna hurt yourself. Calm down, please. Thank you. You're... you're sorry. It's okay. <laughs> oh, my arm. No, it's fine. It's nothing. Don't worry. I'm a vet. I've had worse than a few scratches on my arm. Even if those ones are pretty big. I just hope it won't turn me into... a... You know, someone like you. Okay. Uh, I can't believe this is happening. A werewolf? I didn't think you existed. I wonder why I wasn't aware of that. I don't know, I guess I someone expected a scientific article about this. Yeah, I understand why you wouldn't want that. Anyway, I wanted to operate on you while you were asleep, but it's fine. I'll do it while you're awake. I gave you something for the pain while you were sleeping. Normally, it shouldn't hurt too much. You still want my help, don't you? Okay, then just stay still. I'll start. I'm just going to clean the wound for now. Let me just put on my gloves. <laughs> okay. There we go. What's your name, by the way? I'm Anna. Tell me, have you been watching me for a long time? Three days? That's what I thought. Every night when I came back to my car, I thought I heard something. Turns out it was you. <laughs> you gave me quite a scare. What am I doing now? Oh, the medical stuff I'm doing. Forgive me, I'm not really used to having patients who can talk. Usually the owners just blabber on and on, so I tend not to listen to them because I need to be able to focus on the animal, you know? Uh, so, there was some dead tissues on your wound, so I have to remove it and open the wound again. It will favorize the scaring process. At least if your skin reacts as the skin of a dog. Otherwise, I don't know what will happen. <laughs> oh, you normally heal faster. Then, why not this time? Because you got hurt by an alpha. The chief of the pack? Mm -hmm. 
I see. And why did you two fight? You want to take its place. So he's not a good, uh, chief. Yeah, um, maybe you could do an election or something. Instead of, you know, fighting. <laughs> I guess the wolf part outshines the human part this time. Alright, I'm done on your leg. Does it hurt? Good. Normally the drug I gave you for the pain lasts for four hours. But maybe you'll metabolize the molecule faster. This is unknown territory for me. Well, usually when I treat a species that I'm not familiar with, I just look into books. But, well, this time it's a bit complicated. Let's just hope it will work. I don't like seeing you like this. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. I like to help people. Or animals. I guess sometimes I'm a bit reckless. <laughs> to be honest, I was intrigued. You're my first werewolf patient, after all. <laughs> When you were asleep, I saw you had a lot of other scratches on your face. Can I take a look? Oh, yeah, I think I should disinfect this. Here, let me. Do you ever turn into a complete human? I thought werewolves turn only during the full moon, but tonight is not a full moon. I mean, that's just what the tale says, of course. It's probably different in reality. Uh-huh. Okay, so you're going to be this way for a week. Because it's the week of the full moon, and you have no choice. And then you can turn back into a human. Okay, I see. And how did you become a werewolf? You were born this way. So your parents were werewolves, and your grandparents were werewolves, and so on. Wow. Oh, sorry about all my questions. This is just very new to me, and I really wonder how it works. Well, I'm all done with your wounds. Nothing here needs stitches. Wait, are you alright? You look... warm. <gasps> yeah, you're burning up. Is it possible you have a fever? Oh, this isn't good. I need to give you a shot of antibiotics and anti-inflammatory. And I have no idea which dosage I'm gonna use for you. Ah, uh, I think... Maybe... 0 0.1 per kilo for the Melexicam and then... Um, maybe 20 milligrams per kilo for the... Amoxiclav solution, so yeah, I think. So for your weight, that would be that. Yeah, okay. Uh, what? Sorry, I was calculating the dosage. All right, just eat this pill. And this one. 
Good. You'll have to take this for five days and the antibiotics for at the very least ten days, okay? You're welcome. Here, drink this. You need to stay hydrated. What did you say? <laughs> Go back to your pack. I thought your chief heard you. Why do you want to go back? Try to take his place again? Isn't that dangerous? They'll try to kill you, but that's terrible. You can't go back. I forbid you. Well, I'm your doctor now. So I have a say in this. Don't you dare go back to your pack. You need rest and food. Nowhere to stay. Oh, oh, but you can stay here if you'd like. I have an extra room. It's late anyway. Oh, it's all right. It's been a long time since I've had a guest. And I won't let you leave if I'm not 100% sure that you're safe. I really don't want you to go back to your pack. Uh, sorry, I'm being overprotective. Am I not? Uh, sorry. I just don't like to see people get hurt. You seem nice, and I would hate for you to get in even more troubles. And I have plenty more questions for you. If you agree to enlighten me. <laughs> Great. Come on. I'll show you to your room. <laughs>